The thing, I think, on trace minerals, there's a lot of pressure, especially from a European aspect, on, on zinc and, and copper in particular. What we can do with zinc is low levels may be beneficial in terms of low phytate nutrition program in enhancing nursery performance and reducing zinc excretion. So we can use the, the superdosin to lower that zinc, get the reduced zinc excretion, but still maintain or improve performance. And it just proves to me how important zinc is. Because in 2003, they actually put in uh, a stipulation of 150 ppm of zinc as maximum. And then in 2005, they reversed that to pharmacological levels by VET prescription because basically they couldn't cope with removing the zinc in, in the European market. But there's still pressure on to reduce that for the zinc levels from an environmental and there's even antimicrobial resistance uh, uh, theoretically associated. We know how zinc oxide is used. It varies from uh, market to market, but anywhere from 1,000 to 4,000 ppm. Uh, effectively, it's looking after generally up to three weeks post weaning in most cases. And then it's to prevent post weaning diarrhea. I think the mechanism is still not overly clear, but tight junctions, antimicrobial gene regulation, and all those areas are being looked at in particular to zinc. So one of the things we started to look at from a European perspective is, can we actually maintain zinc oxide at lower levels and maintain the benefits by using uh, the superdosing phytase? And if we do that, we could actually reduce the, the levels of zinc and, ex and reduce the excretion and actually, that might be, allow us to maintain that zinc oxide for a longer period of time and being proactive in that area. So adding phytase or superdosing phytase to these particular diets, you saw response is irrespective of the zinc. But the interesting thing was the actual maximum performance was at this lower zinc level of 1752,500. So this is 30% above this control. So what this suggests is you could actually reduce your zinc levels to 1750 to 2500 and actually potentially maximize out that response. So phytase is working at all levels, but maybe there's an optimal zinc uh, to phytate ratio that the, the, the phytase is going to give you the maximum response. And it, just as an example, and this is now happening a lot more in the European market, is if you go from 2500 to say 1750 in the starter, you'd actually reduce about the zinc excretion in the nursery by about 20%. And even on that saving, you'd be about $3 a ton. So what you can do is we can actually maintain that performance, lower the zinc, and hopefully that might, from a European aspect, maintain that zinc longer, because we do know there's benefits in, in the addition of zinc.